So, we will conclude this topic today except for the data part. What we found is the complex money multiplier Okay. So, if anybody asks you why does broad money change, why, why does broad money change in the economy, there are two reasons monetary base is changing and or the complex money multiplier is changing. So, broad money can change. Now, if you look at the complex money multiplier, there are one, two, three three four parameters which are important currency to demand ratio demand deposit currency to demand deposit ratio c over d small c is c over d currency to demand deposit ratio essentially depends upon people's spending habits suppose they receive more income they can spend more than put money in demand deposits they have sufficient demand deposits to so the ratio can get altered then T again people have it how much they would like to put for current use this month next month use and how much they would like to put away into fixed deposit accounts for future use that is also people's decision it can also depend upon the income many other factors may be the state of the economy income etcetera. So, these are the factors that will determine may be T. Then government's decision is very important. Government means central banks, monetary policy, gamma. Monetary policy, this is CRR. So, if CRR changes, then the complex money multiplier value will change, setter is paribus, keeping other things constant. Again, broad money can change, which in fact central bank tries to do. They, they alter CRR in India, for instance, RBI does that. They control CRR to control broad money, etcetera. And finally, there is a parameter which is not statistically very significant. You will see the numbers today. E is bank's cash holding. Bank's cash holding is not a very large number. Now, what I am trying to tell you is that there are various reasons, there can be various reasons for which M3 changes. Now, I do not know in the current literature. But in the past, there were a lot of interest in how M3 changes and M1 changes. Now, if you go to countries like US, they have something called narrow money and they also have something called broad money, which we call M1 and M3. These countries, there are various reasons for which some, some studies focused upon narrow money, some studies focused upon broad money, usually it is the broad money which interests people most, economists most. Let me tell you a little bit about what I found probably in Mishkin. These are the books and paper and people's name whom I know. There is to be a Nobel laureate, he is probably no longer alive at Chicago University, Milton Friedman. Milton Friedman is to be called the father of uh, right wing economics, who believes in market systems and no government intervention classical he used to be he used to he and his friends used to be called uh, monetarists i mentioned that i mentioned that in my macro course it is a branch of classical macroeconomics called monetarists who focuses on money supply and the basic thing is that besides studying how money <coughs> supply changes over time longer time period shorter time period the focus they also used to say that uh, 
control money supply because too much of money would create inflation if nothing else and they never believed in Keynesian policies that government can do something good for the economy. This is the classical mode and monetarism is a branch of classical macroeconomics. And Milton Friedman and his somebody used to say his girlfriend, somebody said his wife, but what we call them professionally his colleague Anna Schwartz wrote a number of books. One of the famous books which may be in the library is a monetary history of the United States 1867 to 1960 the data period monetary history of the United States. So, they tried to analyze and prove the behavior of the macroeconomy over this 100 year period nearly 100 year period using their belief that money supply plays a key role and whatever happens to the economy is the play of the free market capitalism. The political alliance you know this free market capitalism is more aligned with the right wing republicans and the democrats Obama etcetera are more with they believe in free market etcetera, but they also believe in government role. Then one of their students became famous he lived a very short life Philip Kagan from Chicago University. He wrote a book also called determinants and effects of changes in the stock of money. Stock of money, money stock on side which variable m 1 or m 3 Namrota m louder it is not no m 3. So, he wrote a book on m 3 and what Friedman etcetera people were more interested in m 1 those days their definition of m 1 which is different slightly different from our definition of m 1, but similar and uh, Philip Kagan was more into high powered money money stock m 3. High powered money has many names m 3 money <coughs> stock broad money reserve sorry broad money etcetera. No, no sorry high powered money is different from m 3 high powered money is the base money reserve money m not and the broad money is also called money stock m 3. So, they were not multiplier necessarily they were looking into the behavior that the change in the number of currency to money supply ratio currency to demand ratio ni, currency to money supply ratio. Here we have c small c is c over d currency to money supply ratio required reserve ratio gamma that variable two periods they used to select business cycles short run periods where economy is going up and down business cycles that what you learn you know intermediate macroeconomics ISLA model etcetera business cycle models and also long run all right 10 year 20 year 30 year period they you study. Uh, Milton Friedman's book was nearly 100 years data there it was ok the very long run. So, they found that the multiplier is not really the variable in the uh, responsible for the change in the money stock m 3 they found m not change is the primary thing that was causing m 3 change. However, the currency to money stock etcetera these small parameters like c etcetera became important over cycles short run period short run may income bare c can increase like that, but long run period the dominant factor determining the movement in m 3 in their studies was m naught the base monetary base. And they also had in Kagan currency to money supply ratio as well as currency to deposit ratio may be total deposits and he also found that it moves in the direction of national income over cycles across cycles and it moves pro cyclically pro cyclically means when the economy is going up income increasing employment increasing unemployment falling consumer spending increasing C value or something near to C similar to C small c is increasing 
pro cyclical change when it is going down it is also going down. Now, we need to check our C values our C values currency to demand deposit ratio. So, different studies use different variables and they were more interested into movement and study of this kind of parameters and influence of monetary base on M 3. I am not saying that you have to do that I am saying this is what is being done used to be done and I think our central bank etcetera still interested in these issues it is not that it is an old issue they are still interested. So, if anybody is interested in money multiplier money 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 supply process etcetera a lot of data these days is available and the literature is also available dates back to 1960s if not earlier and people like Anna Schwartz, Milton Friedman, Philip Kagan, the Chicago school and some affiliated places um, you know did a lot of work on that. The Keynesian policies are more in kind of demand management policy stabilization <coughs> policy etcetera. So, what I do now having told you about money supply first topic I did not have any data second topic I would like to show you some data and I will send you the data files which will contain the numerical tables as well as the plots that I show you here. Right now I will not show you so much of the tables I will show you the plots of the variables all right and um, but when I will send you a word file in a couple of days time you will have um, then the um, the tables numbers actual numbers and also the plots. So, let us see what I have first m not m 1 m 3 monetary base m 1 m 3 notice the huge difference particularly since the mid 90s it started picking up late 90s the green line shoots up like an aeroplane aeroplane ja raha hai ye mars ka obhijan ho raha hai desh mein ye rocket ja raha hai mars mein ekdam shoots up whereas m1 and monetary base are slow close to each other so there is a big difference between m0 m1 on the one hand and m3 so m0 disturbances are very little or similar to M0. So, you can say M1 and M0 moved similar to each other in India particularly last 20 years or so or maybe 18 years or so monetary base and M1 were very close to each other which means I am talking about that if you look at the multipliers M1 what I had was if you can help me 1 plus C over what is the multiplier I had 1 plus c over c plus r plus e r was a truncated reserve ratio 1 plus c over c plus r plus e. Now, this multiplier was very weak had no influence on m 1 you can clearly see from the two lines you do not have to go to any analysis look at the two lines they are like do bhai bhai ja rahe evening mein nikale subhe nikale ek saath evening mein bhi ek saath ja rahe hill ke upar ja rahe thoda thoda mountain nahi hill ke upar haath pakad ke ja rahe ekdam multiplier ka koi effect hi nahi hai monetary base m0 and m1 are very close to each other they have a very close relationship very intimate relationship all right lekin m3 ko dekhiye hal ye m not ke sath koi relationship hai hi nahi wo apna man se ja raha hai kyun ja raha hai that multiplier is very important in india over time just the opposite of anna schwartz and milton friedman what they were saying happened in 100 year period in the us or in the 60s research on this kind of an issue today in India broad money multiplier has a much stronger influence than the monetary base 
this fellow here which I call small m 2 has a much stronger influence on m 3 than this. So, what you are saying that the behavioral parameters C T and of course, government central banks C R R they determine E is a very small number I will show you they determine the strength of the multiplier strength of m 3 the movement of m 3 they here ye jaise koi olympic wala i hai jo race mein samne gaya aap dekha aap did you watch olympic games some uh, competitors were so good they were far ahead of the rest ekdam far ahead unbelievable how much of a distance there was from the first position and the second position some were very close like the 100 meters spent etc that usain bolt stuff very close but some of them were my goodness marathon me hua tha dekha bahut difference tha this m3 fellow here you can see is which you has an exponential curve you know it's an exponential function exploding q farak kya hai do multiplier ke andar q usko aisa jo zabardast upar ja raha hai q now you tell me the reason let's see your intuition <coughs> why the m 3 complex multiplier is so strong and increasing that monetary base has very little influence on m 3 very good wonderful t small multiplier and large multiplier ka farak ek important hai to reserve ratio properly hai nahi r hai either gamma hai lekin sabse bada factor hai t the time deposit in india to demand deposit ratio. Now, this I cannot just explain like this people have more income simple people have more income where where to do what to do with Indian habits they do not put money in the stock market which abroad they do they have look for a safe zone park the money and they are putting in the fixed deposits. So, banks are flush with funds literally banks are flooded with money deposits and that is time deposit. So, where would the time deposits be kept? These are our banks time deposits fixed deposit accounts there it is a fantastic thing in India. We are very conservative we do not invest in stock market etcetera and we just park the money excess income you understand what I am saying. So, this is what you see next the growth rates and I uh, will see you will perhaps I will give you standard deviation etcetera you can clearly see the blue line growth rate is the most erratic why of course as I told you if anything hits the economy like an earthquake shocks it will first hit the monetary base. Now, if the superstructure is very strong you would not feel it much but the shock is absorbed external shocks internal shocks by the monetary base. So, you can see clearly the blue line fluctuations are much wider then comes the red line which is the m 1 because blue and red are close to each other now I told you the previous diagram and green wala dekho apne man mein hai wo earthquake ho raha hai ki nahi flood ho raha hai ki nahi kuch nahi hai structural break hai around 2004 5 ek dom uske baad dheere dheere niche ke taraf a raha the growth rate is falling recession wagara chal raha growth rate is falling, but is much stable. So, the standard deviation if you calculate the differences in variation the number will be much smaller for m 3 vis a vis m uh, not an m 1. Now, uh, let me see m not ka standard deviation at 7.7 m 1 ka standard deviation is 6.2 <coughs> and m 3 ka standard deviation half i 3.2 oh guy much stable curve m 3 exponential growth i exponentially going up, but the growth across years over years is much more stable standard deviation both come at 3.2 a double has standard deviation double ke jada hai monetary base mein m 1 may be kafi hai nearly double take a double hote to 6.4 hote to 6.2 hai. So, this is what you expect to happen 
all right next is share of m not components m what with three hai other deposits bankers deposits with rbi and currency in circulation kaun sa jyada hai currency in circulation you can see last few years currency in circulation is around about 70% thoda 70% kabhi niche kabhi upar about 70% that means 30% hai bankers deposits because other deposits are very little ek other deposit ekdom ek lethargic aadmi ke maafi chutti ke din humko milenge to main sahi chutti ke din late hu aur ut jag nahi raha hu aap log bhi ho sakte karte wo late hi hai udhar wo jag nahi raha hai वो 1991 में भी जगे थे नहीं थोड़ा जगे थे 93 90 ऊपर उठ के फिंस हो गया 2009 10 7 8 11 12 सब एकदम फ्लैट आई टोल्ड यू अदर डिपॉजिट्स है ही नहीं नंबर सो परसेंटेज ऑफ करेंसी एंड बैंकर्स रफली 70 30 डिवीजन रफली 70 30 डिवीजन एक मिड अर्ली 2000 न्यू मिलेनियम में अर्ली वो बहुत ऊपर चले गए थे देखो ऊपर में एक कर्व है वो 80 के आसपास 75 के बीच चले बीच 70 मोर देन 70 परसेंट चले गए और बिलो 30 परसेंट चले आए थे लेकिन उसके बाद फिर सेटल कर रहा है उधर ओके आधा डिपॉजिट्स का आधा डिपॉजिट्स का ये आधा डिपॉजिट्स का जो शेयर है परसेंटेज ये देखो ये वन परसेंट के ऊपर मैं बताया ना थोड़ा जगह थे मिड नाइन्टीज लेट नाइन्टीज में वन पॉइंट फोर और वन पॉइंट फोर तक वन पॉइंट सिक्स तक गए वन पॉइंट सेवन तक गए नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव नाइन्टी सिक्स वन पॉइंट सेवन जाके गिरते 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 जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो पॉइंट टू आधा डिपॉजिट इतना कम इन सिग्निफिकेंट जीरो लेस देन वन परसेंट दैट्स वाई वॉज वेन आई वॉज कंप्यूटिंग द मल्टीप्लायर्स एल्जेब्रिकली आई सेड इग्नोर दैम बिकॉज अदर डिपॉजिट वेरी स्टेटिस्टिकली न्यूमेरिकली insignificant number it's really you did not have to worry about them the multiplier unnecessarily will become complex with a variable which doesn't have any numerical importance in india so why consider them and you can see as i told you 30 roughly 30 and ye chal raha hai abhi thoda bade hai last year 11 12 mein 74 that means people are holding more currency than bankers deposits people <coughs> currency ratio is going up why would people hold more currency because this inflation etc may be creating this how badte hai jab jyada cash lagte hai saman khareedne ke liye so people are holding more currency we will find that out currency demand deposit ratio soon you can see clearly the currency share in monetary base has gone up the currency share has gone up from 70 it was 75 74 came down to 70 69 उटी So naturally, their share would go down. So one is connected with the other. If one goes up, other one goes down. ठीक है? आप ज़्यादा उधर हिल रहे, तो इसको भी उधर हिलना पड़ेगा. आप इधर आ रहे, तो वो भी इधर जाएगा. ठीक है? Everybody, following, great. Now, so this is very important study we are doing. Study of Indian monetary system. ठीक है उसके बाद शेयर ऑफ एम वन ये मजा का लाइन देखिए एम नॉट देखा है एम वन देखिए ये एक इंस्ट्रूमेंट के माफिक लग रहा है हमको एक इंस्ट्रूमेंट होता है प्लायर्स के माफिक किसी को नाक पकड़ना है तो इंस्ट्रूमेंट लेके नाक पकड़ लो क्लास में जब बदमाशी करेगा ऐसा जाके एक रख दूंगा इधर लंबा वाला ये देखिए मजा ऑफकोर्स आधा डिपॉजिट तो एकदम नीचे है उसको छोड़ दीजिए बेचारा वो वो जग नहीं पा रहा है वो सो ही रहा है उधर डिमांड डिपॉजिट्स एंड करेंसी विथ पीपल विद द पब्लिक ये दोनों वेरिएबल आप मजा देखिए एक तो 40 के मिड में और एक 50 के मिड में तो 90 90 परसेंट क्या कितना हो गया 55 एंड 45 100 नियरली 100 
अच्छा नियरली हंड्रेड हो गया लेकिन मिड लास्ट डेकेड टू थाउजेंड फाइव सिक्स से इनका बहुत दोस्ती बढ़ गया था एकदम आस पास आ गया आई डोंट नो वाई इट हैपन डिमांड डिपॉजिट करेंसी डिपॉजिट द बैलेंस फिफ्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट फिफ्टी वो फिफ्टी ये लेकिन रिसेशन जब से शुरू हुआ दो सात आठ देखो एक मजा विच आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इन्फ्लेशन एंड रिसेशन देखो क्या है देखा इकोनॉमी में इन्फ्लेशन रिसेशन जब चलते हैं दोनों एक साथ स्टैक्फ्लेशन चलते हैं क्या होता है देखो करेंसी बढ़ जाता है यू आर द स्पेंड इट एंड बाय गुड्स बिकॉज द प्राइस आर गोइंग टू गो अप फॉर द टुमारो एंड आल्सो विथ इन्फ्लेशन प्राइस आर हायर सो यू आर कीपिंग लेस मन इन बैंक एंड बैंक आर ऑल्सो नॉट ऑफरिंग मच इंटरेस्ट रेट इफ इन्फ्लेशन इज हाई रियल रिटर्न इज अर्विंग फिशर्स इक्वेशन लेस इफ रियल रिटर्न इज लेस वाई पुट मन इन द बैंक पुट इट इन गुड्स buy things or put it elsewhere so currency holding has gone up if in fashion you know things cost more so you need more cash i have seen that i notice myself when i go and withdraw money uh, cash from the bank the check amounts i write and how frequently i visit i clearly notice that the expenses at home my home is going up definitely If I look at my, up my passbook, it will clearly say since when I have increased on a kind of a permanently my monthly expenses. Clearly, the check amounts I withdraw, I clearly notice how frequently and how much I withdraw. So this is exactly what is happening. Two line alag ho gaya dekho. Recession chal raha hai, inflation bhi chal raha hai, which we call stagflation. स्टैक्लेशन में देखो दोनों अलग हो गया अभी जाके कभी मिले तो किसी का नाक पकड़ लेंगे इन किसको मिलेंगे कब मिलेंगे पता नहीं है एकदम ओपर और नीच तो एक अच्छा टाइम इंडियन इकोनॉमी में था जब एनडीए गवर्नमेंट खत्म हुआ यूपीए वन था देखो 50 परसेंट फिफ्टी परसेंट था शेयर रिसेशन आए टू अगस्त टू अगस्त के बाद वर्ल्ड रिसेशन आए इंडिया में आए नहीं बाद में आए इंडिया में धीरे 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 एक जा रहा है टू अ सिक्सटी परसेंट एक जा रहा है टू अ फोर्टी परसेंट बहुत अ परसेंटेज पॉइंट इन लैक्स ऑफ क्रोर्स ऑफ मनी इज ह्यूज एंड टेन परसेंटेज पॉइंट डिफरेंस इज मैसिव डिफरेंस यूर टॉकिंग ऑन मनी सप्लाई रिमेंबर मे बी नैरो मनी लैक्स ऑफ क्रोर्स आई विल गो शो यू आई विल गिव यू द डेटा आई विल डेटा टेबल्स सो वन परसेंटेज चेंज देयर इज ह्यूज नंबर I mean, if you if they gift you one percent change in money supply, you would be very happy. Maybe you will stop coming to IIT Kanpur, studying, go and buy a big house and stay there, rest of your life. Ten percentage point difference over here within three years. Ten percentage point. Can you believe that? Massive change. Acha. Next, M three. एकदम अलग डायग्राम करेंसी एंड डिमांड डिपॉजिट्स नीचे टाइम डिपॉजिट्स अपना मन में ऊपर में जा रहे हैं सो इफ अदर डिपॉजिट्स आर इन नेग्लिजिबल करेंसी एंड डिमांड डिपॉजिट्स अगेन सिमिलर दे आर वेरी सिमिलर देखो इधर में भी है लेकिन उस फर्क इतना ज्यादा शार्प नहीं है दे वे सिमिलर दे वे क्लोज टू इच अदर नियरली Uh, 12, 15 टेकिंग ओप डिमांड डिपॉजिट आर फॉलोइंग डिपोजिट देखिए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिसेशन और नो रिसेशन इन इंडिया टाइम डिपॉजिट दिस इज दिस आई रियली कैनॉट एक्सप्लेन दिस इज आई रियली कैनॉट एक्सप्लेन दिस टाइम डिपॉजिट दिस इज दिस आई रियली कैनॉट एक्सप्लेन द एंटायर थिंग राइट नाउ यू हैव टू थिंक वाई द टाइम डिपॉजिट परसेंटेज शेयर इन एम थ्री डिड नॉट चेंज इन रिसेशन और इनफ्लेशन people probably think that uh, they are the return is still good on fixed deposit accounts but there is a tussle going on between demand deposits and current spending c cash holding as a matter of fact this has a downward trend minor downward trend negative slope hai dekhiye ye blue and the green line here the blue and the green line 
the blue and the green line if you draw a trend line here it has a slightly downward slope not 0 degree minus degree may have and here if you draw a trend line it is clearly a plus slope okay, may be 15 degree angle 10 12 15 degree angle hoga nothing and this one may be 2 degree 3 degree angle hoga usse jada nahi lekin trend is not parallel not 0 degree if you draw a line straight line which is called a trend line in statistics it's clearly it's, it's saying that so the three diagrams in terms of their component shear are completely different look go back to the three diagrams m1 m0 dekho kaise tha ek map ke maafi koi desh ka map hai ye the geographical feature outline m1 dekho ek dam alag and m3 dekho completely different three two aggregates and one is called monetary base their composition similar items are there but they are very different so as you said time deposits t must be playing havoc because that is the most significant parameter in the complex money multiplier that is absolutely correct because you can see the time deposits here. Any question on this? I, when I was a student I never had access to data and I never saw the lines we knew about m1, m2, m3 but now it is wonderful to know what is going on and this is all from RBI site. I got the data all from RBI all right the next is velocity this is very interesting I computed two velocities with narrow money one and with broad money and you clearly see that the velocity of circulation turns out to be narrow money high velocity is higher number what is velocity nominal income or nominal GDP divided by uh, the monetary aggregate. So, if monetary aggregate is a smaller narrow money naturally the ratio value would be higher and if you take m 3 much bigger number with time deposit x and then the line is down. So, the velocity complex money multiple v 3 velocity is here and v 1 is there, but one thing is very clear in this two particularly note v 3 what is this line doing it has come down significantly from near 2 to 1 over a 20 year period roughly 20 22 year period it has definitely come down okay what does it mean velocity coming down what is happening which hypothesis is correct Irving Fisher or the Cambridge equations the Cambridge economics who said short run velocity may fluctuate may also fluctuate long run yes it will change and Irving Fisher was saying institutional factors and technological improvements would change velocity in the long run. So, if you consider that to be a long run period it is definitely providing support to Irving Fisher who wrote about determinants of velocity around 1913-20 it is still valid why what technological improvements and institutional factors that have changed in the last 20 22 years in India electronic yes electronic money automatic teller machines payment through checks cash use is going down velocity of circulation is going down people need not have to carry cash they can carry a card make the payments come back home the card company will be approached by the seller to collect the money on their behalf and bank just takes the money out from one account puts it another money is not coming out of the bank cash. So, Irving Fisher imagine this insight the thinking hardly cards existed those days even in the western world forget about electronic money internet to thai nahi. The predictions were absolutely correct what determines velocity seems to be seems to me now you can think about any other. So, clearly the velocity of money is falling in India 
I do not know it will be interesting to know what the velocity of money is in other countries fantastic what the numbers are maybe less than one I think because there are more modern economies more payments with cards the number is probably very close to 0 or 1. So, velocity is going down which also says something very interesting if velocity is going down then the ratio velocity is a ratio nominal GNP or GDP divided GDP divided by money supply. If the economies are growing then the money supply is coming closer to the nominal GDP that is also what it is saying. So, there is a lot of money supply increase in these countries including India which is true M 3 both but right a huge amount of money supply increase because it proves that point the velocity is coming down velocity is the ratio and then the denominator is also picking up catching up with the numerator value the velocity cannot decline lot of money supply increase is also there in these modern economies. It is like cross checking that you solved a solution let us cross check from some other side whether you arrive at that number or not or what the reasons are. So, there is a lot of thinking one need to do why is money supply going up so much in a country like India which is getting proved here that the velocity of circulation of money is going down. One the institutional factors from the direct determinants of velocity another one may be an indirect influence that the money supply is going down going up so much and catching up with the nominal value of GDP that the velocity naturally is less why the, the factors determining that is very different set of reasons that you will come up with compared to M 1 I am uh, Fisher's explanation of velocity going down institutional factors and technological improvements. Clear? All right.